Hi friends. Very, very, very good morning all of you. How are you? So I hope all of you are doing excellent. And today it is a matter of pleasure for me to announce our new batch for CA Foundation accounts. This recording of lecture one is done simultaneously along with the live classes. I am recording this on the 19th February 2022. So this class is intended to be the introduction class for students writing CA Foundation exam in the month of May 2022. Probably the exams are going to start from 24th of May and also for the students of November 2022. As you know, we have announced a crash course revision batch for CA Foundation for May 22 attempt and a regular batch for November 22 attempt. This is going to be your lecture one. In this lecture, we'll see the weightage of various chapters, weightage of various chapters. So I'll be giving you the introduction of the list of the chapters as per ICI curriculum. Also, along with that, you'll understand what is the probable weight that this uh, uh, question from this chapter will come in the examination. So this is our agenda one today. Okay. After this, after this, in another lecture, lecture two, we'll see one model test question paper. So there could be repeaters or there could be uh, students who are uh, uh, who have joined afresh. So whether you are a repeater or whether you are uh, uh, a student who has joined and this is going to be your first class, I will give you a complete understanding of the question papers. So it is very important for you to know how many questions will come in the exam and in that how many sub parts will be there and from which uh, uh, chapter what type of questions are coming. So you need to understand the complete topography of your exam paper that we'll do in lecture two. So today we are going to deal with this two lectures. Are you ready? Are you ready? So open a new page, preferably a new notebook. Put the heading CA Foundation Paper 1. What is the name of the paper? Principles and Practice of Accounting. Okay, so open a new page, put the heading CA Foundation Paper 1, Principles and Practice of Accounting. Okay, so obviously every paper is for 100 marks. So this paper is also for 100 marks. Okay, are we ready? Right now, serial number, serial number, chapter Serial number, chapter, weightage. Serial number, chapter, weightage. Okay. Serial number, chapter, weightage. Okay. Under that serial number one. What is the name of your first chapter? Theoretical framework. Chapter one, theoretical framework. Okay, so, so here we'll write serial number, here we write chapter, here we write weightage. So serial number one is theoretical framework. Okay, for this 5 to 10% of weightage is given by ICI, 5 to 10%. That means either five marks question can come or 10 marks question can come. From this area, this is pure theory. Okay, introduction to accounting. I'm very sure you might have studied this in your 10th class, 11th class also. Okay, theoretical framework, five to 10% of marks. Then comes chapter two. Chapter two is accounting process. Chapter two, accounting process. Then chapter three, BRS, bank reconciliation statement. What is three? Bank reconciliation statement for inventories. Five, accounting for depreciation. Okay, what is three? Third chapter is bank reconciliation statement. Then inventories. Fourth chapter, inventories. Then fifth chapter, depreciation. Depreciation. 
okay so this 2 3 4 5 put together they have given weightage 2 3 4 5 put together 25 to 30 percent 25 to 30 percent of marks come from this area okay all are easy topics i'm telling you trust me they are very very simple and easy topics so if you want you can put a rooster bracket flower bracket we call now so one flower bracket you can put here like this here you can put one bracket like this okay so for two three four five put a rooster bracket and then write 25 to 30 percent then let us move ahead sixth chapter what is sixth chapter accounting for special transactions accounting for special transactions under that they have given so many things accounting for special transactions under that they have given one bills of exchange one bills of exchange under this one bills of exchange so you can put a b c d or small one two three four roman one two three four you can write so first topic under special transactions is bills of exchange then the next one is sale of goods on approval or return sale of goods on approval or return this is the second item under sixth chapter third item consignment average due date account current this average due date account current in uh, ca intermediate old syllabus few years back all these were there in ca inter group one they deleted it from ca inter group one because they are very basic elementary topics and they have included that in ca foundation syllabus don't worry absolutely easy average due date and account current so under six how many we have accounting for special transactions is the heading of chapter six under that we have Bills of exchange, sale of goods and approval are written, consignment, average due date, account current. This five topics we have. Okay. For this five topics put together, 15 to 20 percent. This five topics put together, 15 to 20 percent. Okay. So probably they'll ask from bills of exchange, five marks, average due date, five marks, account current, five marks, consignment, five marks. Like the three, four parts will come from this area. Okay. 20% is not a small thing. So you learn average due date. So probably five marks is in your pocket. You learn account current five marks in your pocket, something like that. That is about chapter six. Then chapter seven, very, 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 very important. Final accounts of sole proprietors. Highest weight goes to this. Final accounts of sole proprietors final accounts of sole proprietors okay this has 30 to 40 percent my dear friends so you be thorough in this there are 90 percent chances that you will pass this paper okay so final accounts of sole proprietors 30 to 40 like you know you have to prepare trading account profit and loss account balance sheet so these are the uh, you know various uh, statements in uh, the umbrella of financial statements then they might be asking you preparation of trial balance closing entries all this stuff will be there okay so if you are doing abc analysis which is the most important area for the exam which is the most important area probably this will be number one isn't it so not only final accounts they have included seven eight i think uh, nine under this not one chapter i'm sorry not one chapter final accounts of sole proprietors partnership and npo partnership accounts and npo okay it is not only for seven okay Financial statements of NPO. Non-profit organizations. Okay. So this three put together, very important area, 30 to 40%. Final accounts of sole proprietors, partnership accounts, and financial statements of NPO put together will come to 30 to 40%. 7, 8, 9. Then 10, introduction to company accounts. Just basics will be there. You know, journal entries for issue of shares, journal entries for debentures, these kind of things will be there. Okay. Introduction to company accounts. 
10 to 15. Okay, in my opinion, this is the most important area. I'll tell you why. Now you might say, but Pavan sir, the weightage is only 10 to 15. Yes. But do you know whatever you learn here in this uh, you know, chapter that will be your foundation for CA, intermediate accounts, advanced accounts, and the same concepts we'll be using in CA final also. You understand? So this is very important for you. Maybe uh, average due date, account current, consignment, this kind of concepts, no, you will not be using in CA inter and CA final. That you learn here and that's it. That is the end. But certain aspects like partnership accounts is that very important. Now you might ask why, because even in CA intermediate partnership accounts is there. Even in CA intermediate advanced accounting paper also partnership is there. So here you learn maybe uh, first 10 to 15% of the topic, then another 40, 50% you learn in group one CA inter and then you learn advanced concepts like, you know, when you are selling the partnership firm or amalgamation of two partnership firms, uh, then conversion of partnership firm into a limited liability company, all this kind of stuff you'll see in advanced accounting paper five of CA intermediate. You understand? So certain things like partnership accounts, company accounts, these kind of things are not only for, they are not only for your, uh, you know, CA foundation. They are the basics foundation for CA intermediate also. So that's all my dear friends. This is your syllabus and there you are accounting syllabus ends. Okay. So what is this? Theoretical framework will come to, will come in the exam from 5 to 10 marks. Accounting process, BRS, inventories, depreciation, all are, trust me, damn easy, damn easy. So probably uh, in the in uh, one of the subsequent lectures, we'll be starting the class with the depreciation because too much of theory, if I start with theoretical framework, no, you'll get mad. Too much of theory, you cannot understand. So I'll teach the whole concept. I'll teach the whole concept, the full theory, 100% theory. I'll teach you, don't worry. But too much of theory, will you, you lose the essence of accounting okay so that is the reason we go to depreciation okay so this comes to 25 to 30 then accounting for special transactions you have five elements under this bills of exchange sale of goods and approval or return basis consignment average due date account current all these five put together will come to 15 to 20 percent then you have final accounts of sole proprietors and then partnership accounts and npo this is the highest this is the area with the highest weightage 30 to 40 percent will come from this area accounts per sole proprietors itself will come for 20 marks at times okay and then the last one is introduction to company accounts issue of shares issue of debentures how should we write the journal entries and theoretical provisions you know in company law all these things we'll discuss here so that's all my dear friends this is your syllabus so with this this uh, uh, lecture one is going to end and in two minutes we'll start live for lecture two so don't go anywhere Within two minutes, we'll start lecture two, okay?